so I am here to film my November favorites for you. It is super cold outside in New York and that's why I have a nice cozy sweater on. That's why I might sound a little congested because my allergies are kicking my butt. But I am so excited to come and film my current favorites for you guys because I've definitely been loving so many things especially since I've been gone from YouTube for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and just get right into the video and share with you what I have been absolutely obsessed with. Alright guys so I think I'm just going to go ahead and begin with hair care of course I don't know if you guys can tell but I got a little bit of a haircut which was so needed my hair and my skin have been acting a total fool they have been really crazy and I needed a haircut and I got one because my ends were just a disaster so I got a nice little haircut I was like take off whatever you need to take off because I'm not holding on to undamaged I'm not holding on to damaged hair so she cut it I'm absolutely in love with it it just feels so much more healthy and I love it uh, so let's go ahead and get into some hair care favorites the first product I want to share with you guys is a combing cream by Amla Legend. So this is going to condition, detangle, and define your hair. You're supposed to put this in your hair and leave it and kind of uh, detangle your hair and leave it in as a styling aid, but I actually wash it out. So I use it before I wash my hair, and this has saved my life. This has saved my life on more than one occasion because recently my hair has been just so knotted and tangled and just all types of crazy and ratchet and this is just a lifesaver so I put this in my hair I let it sit for a little bit and I just kind of gently detangled and it prevented me from losing a lot of extra hair which I love um, so really really like it I do recommend it I've never left it in my hair because I feel like it will probably weigh my hair down since so I do wear my hair straight um, but I wash it out I use it kind of like a pre shampooing treatment and it works amazingly so I definitely recommend the Amla uh, Legend combing cream the next two hair care products here have definitely been a lifesaver as well. These are the Cream of Nature Coconut Milk uh, products. This is the Detangling and Conditioning Shampoo, and this is the Detangling and, condi uh, and Conditioning Conditioner. So, really love these. I actually had these in my hair product stash, which is huge, guys. I have so many products that I need to get to using. But these were just sitting in my hair product stash. I just hadn't had the opportunity to get to them yet, and my boyfriend has very like um, coarse uh, curly hair and sometimes it can be very very dry so I would I pulled these products out and his hair oh my god his hair was so moisturized so soft and so defined so I was like you know what let me use let me use that on my hair and it's really really nice it's very conditioning and detangling and that's what I needed it for and very uh, moisturizing so I definitely recommend the coconut milk line and it also smells really really great so the shampoo is great because I can uh, detangle my hair with just the shampoo and then the conditioner is even better. It's really nice and rich, which I love. Next products I have here are the Kimball Beauty products. I actually got, I believe, the whole line in a PR kind of kit um, that got sent to me a while ago and again it was in my hair stash and I decided to pull it out because I was doing a perm rod set on my hair and I needed some products to put in my hair for that and I wanted to kind of switch it up from my normal products and I saw that I had these and I was like hey let me use these so the products that I actually uh, absolutely love from what I tried are these two it's the Kimmel Beauty liquid curl enhancer um, from the bounce back curl line I love this spray nozzle it really just saturates your hair with the product it's not weak it's just like really gets your hair I love that and then the curl cream um, is really really good too it's not too thick it's more the consistency of a leave-in conditioner but I really liked it and it really made my perm rod set really soft and fluffy but still defined Next for hair care is not typically or technically a hair uh, care product but it does help with your hair and there are supplements my hair has been um, not now but for the past few months my hair like I wanted to cry my hair was just coming out in clumps I don't know if it was stress I don't know what it was I know I'm stretching for a long time I haven't had my last uh, touch up for my relaxer in almost a year so it could be that too combined with stress combined with me just not taking care of my hair as much as I used to so it just my hair I guess my hair was just like rebelling and fighting back so it was just coming out it was super dry and brittle 
and it was just literally driving me crazy I didn't know what to do with it and aside from using those new products and really kind of babying my hair again I started to take supplements which I think has really helped in the thickness of my hair um, because I felt like my hair was thinning out a little bit so um, I have two supplements here the first is the NeoCell Biotin Burst I got these a while ago in like a subscription sort of service and I got a few uh, boxes of it and this contains 10,000 mcgs of biotin and it's a chewable so if you're not the type of person that likes to swallow pills or you just can't swallow pills or you just don't want to take pill supplements this is really great it's really really tasty actually so you have to kind of be careful because you want to eat more than one but it's really great um it's 10 soft chews and a box um which is really really great and um amazing it's gluten free gmo free soy free palm oil free um so i really highly recommend these again neocell biotin burst um gourmet biotin soft chews the next product here, I think a lot of people know about this. It's super popular on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. It's the Main Choice Main Metabolism uh, Supplements. This is the Main Metabolism Plus uh, Supplements. It's supposed to help with longer, thicker, uh, faster hair growth. Um, there are 60 capsules in here. You, do, you take two a day, so that's a month's supply, um, which I think is a really good amount to see if your hair actually likes it. So, really, really love these. I will continue to take them because I feel like, you know, it doesn't really harm um, myself to take them. It's the harm in having some extra, you know, um, help along with my hair growth. So, really like them. They don't break me out or anything like that. So, I definitely recommend these as well. So, that's it for hair care. On to skin care. So, again, just like my hair, my skin was kind of acting really funny. It was a little bit... Mm, like it had like a lot of texture on it which um that's my thing i really focus on having very smooth fine texture on my skin so it was really textured very like rough texture on my skin also i was breaking out a little bit which was just mm, horrible so i'm gonna share some of the skincare products that i've been recently been using to kind of get my skin uh back to um the state of that i like it to be The first one is my cleanser. Um, I'm not very picky on cleansers. I feel like as long as it doesn't have a ton of fragrance, it lasts pretty well and it doesn't dry my face out, it's a good cleanser. So I recently picked this up because I was out of my Philosophy Purity Cleanser. So I got this Tony Moly Moisture Foam Cleanser because um, I was in uh, Koreatown and um, getting some of my favorite Korean barbecue. And every time I walk by the Tony Moly store, I'll just kind of pop in and see what's new. Or um, I'll pick up like my favorite mascara or some face mask. And this was there, so I decided to pick it up because I knew I was out of cleanser. This is the Moisture Foam Cleanser. Again, it's really great. It's a really nice foaming cleanser that has a little bit of moisture to it so it doesn't dry you out. I think it's great. It lathers enough, doesn't smell crazy. So it's really good. I've also been trying to really focus on masking, not only doing the paper mask, but using masks, um, like um, the toxifying masks and masks to help t with the texture of my skin and to refine the texture of my skin. So the two that I have been really rotating heavily along with my other ones are the Kiehl's uh, Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Mask. This is amazing. I actually used it in um, my Get Unready With Me video. I love this. It just tangles really makes your skin feel clean tight and bright um, and it also helps with problematic skin the turmeric is really great to calm your skin down and also to help with any blemishes love that highly recommend it Kiehl's is a great brand the other one is Bosha this is the Bosha charcoal pore pudding it has two uh, different types of charcoal if you can see there's a the black charcoal and the white charcoal the white one is really really great it's a white um, uh, white charcoal that doesn't dry out your skin so when you mix them it won't dry your skin but it's still going to be really really detoxifying to your skin help to get all the gunk out of your pores it smells great um, almost like a spa kind of treatment so definitely recommend these masks 
Another skincare thing I have here is the Peter Thomas Roth Acne Clear Invisible Dots. And that's exactly what it sounds like. They're little, like, little invisible sticker dots, but they have salicylic acid in them, so you put it onto the blemish. So you stick it on your blemish, and it's supposed to really help uh, clear up your um, acne. It has tea tree oil, it's non-irritating, hyaluronic acid, so it doesn't dry you out. So I absolutely love these. You can find these at Sephora, and I highly recommend them, especially if you don't break out all the time, you get those one uh, or two breakouts especially during the time of the month these are really really great my next product is a body care product which technically is skincare I guess but it's the clean on me soap and glory um, body wash it's really really good um, it's creamy but it's really really um, cleansing to your skin soap and glory products smell so good I mean I've heard how good they smell but I've never like smelled them for myself I needed a new body wash I picked it up it actually came in a set with the um, Righteous Butter, this, and then a loofah for 20 bucks. so I think that's a really good present, too, or if you have, like, a Secret Santa, it's really cute, $20, it comes in a really cute box, but um, I really don't like this, to be honest, I know some of you are probably going to give me so much hate for that, because I know this is, like, people's holy grail body butter, but it really doesn't moisturize all that well. I will share a lotion that I love that actually moisturizes. But, I mean, it's good, it smells good, but it doesn't really moisturize too well. But, the Clean On Me uh, body wash is amazing. I really love it. I love the way it smells. It lathers really nicely. The smell lingers on your body, so I really can't say anything bad about it. And if I had to, I definitely would repurchase it. The last body care favorite I have here is the Kiehl's Creme Decor lotion, which is amazing. I this is a huge, gigantic one liter um bottle that you don't have to buy the one liter and I mean it's really expensive but um it's amazing 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 I like to get the big bottle because it lasts a long time so this will last me like almost the whole winter so I decided to go back to my love this is like my original OG favorite lotion and I just decided to go back to it because this winter has been kicking my butt my skin has been so dry and crazy so decided to get that again and I love it and I love that it has no scent to it so your husband or boyfriend whoever can use it too doesn't have any smell and it's super moisturizing so I definitely recommend it and they do have smaller sizes <laughs> on to makeup favorites so I have been um, really loving my Anastasia concealer I love this stuff so much I think I mentioned it a while ago in a favorites video but I mean I'm almost done with it uh, but I still have a lot this will probably last me another three months, which is great. And I bought this like almost a year ago, so amazing, amazing. Uh, it's like $20, so, you know, really good value. I actually use this as a corrector, not a concealer, though. So I'll use this, and then I'll put a brightening concealer on top of it. And I really, really love it for a corrector. It's so peachy, orangey, so it cancels all the darkness and just makes my under eye area look super bright which I love because my dark circles are kind of like my self-conscious thing. Um, so it's like my insecurity that I always deal with and I'm always trying to find the perfect concealer because I hate my dark circles. And this is absolutely beautiful and it really works well. Um, plus Anastasia Beverly Hills products are just amazing in general. But I really love her concealers. It's very, very creamy and thick so you have to blend it out. I use my beauty blender and you have to set it really well but it's worth it. It's really, really good. The next makeup thing I have here are lashes. If you guys know me, you know that I wear lashes every single day. And I absolutely love these. I cannot tell you how many of these I have gone through. Probably over 20 packs of these I've gone through. <laughs> and I love them. These are the Trio Lashes by Kiss. And these are in the medium length. I like the medium length. They're a little longer. I have about four of them on the outer edge here it just gives a really nice look to my lashes and they're a lot more natural than a strip lash especially for work i wear them every day to work and they're amazing i get i literally every single day not even lying or you know brown or anything like that but every day someone's like oh my god your lashes or are you wearing individuals or like have you do you have lash extensions i'm like no they're just drugstore lashes go get them they're like five dollars a pack depending on where you get them you can get them from five to seven to eight dollars um i try to get them where i can get them for five dollars um but they're amazing you get some short ones also um at the top and then you get medium so you can kind of mix them um but i really love them and i highly recommend them and people are always asking me what lashes i'm wearing so trio lashes by kiss my makeup routine has not really changed 
really um but um the thing that i have changed is my face powder I actually on instagram put up a picture and i'm saying have you guys tried these um this powder and a lot of i got mixed reviews on it some people like it some people don't like it um but most people do like it so i did decide to pick it up and it's the bare minerals bare pro powder um i wear the color sable 21 at first i didn't really like it because i felt like it wasn't doing anything like i didn't see it on my skin and i just realized it was just a really good match and that it was just very fine it doesn't look powdery and i think i was just used to powder kind of like going on and being powdery but this doesn't go on powdery which i love so yeah i absolutely love it i might have to go a little lighter for winter but i really really like this powder um it doesn't break me out or anything it comes with a little pad at the bottom i don't use that i just use it with a brush and actually i'm a little bit shiny because i've been wearing this makeup for a while you can see it doesn't really take away the glow from your skin it just makes your skin look airbrushed so really like it highly recommend it and it's only again like 20 28 dollars um so yeah highly recommend that now on to some lifestyle favorites and then the video is done <laughs> I do have a fragrance here which is the Flora Botanica by Balenciaga it just to me this fragrance it just smells like fall it's just a really warm rose scent like a heavy rose scent and I just think it's beautiful it's very unique it doesn't smell like anything else um, the bottle is beautiful as well I love the Balenciaga um, bottles so this is the, um, did I say Flora Botanica? This is Rosa Botanica. They do have a Flora Botanica, which is a lot lighter, uh, which I think is their more popular one, but I like the Rosa Botanica. I think I said Flora Botanica at first, but it's the Rosa Botanica. And when I go out, I'm going to the movies with my best friend. I'm going to spray a little bit of this on. The last products I have here are water bottles. Um, this is the Swell bottle, and I know this bottle has been, these bottles or water bottles have been super popular um, on social media and just in general. They are really, really great though. They're expensive. I think this one was like $36, $38, but they are so well worth the price because you're, when you put your hot liquids in here, so you can put coffee, tea, whatever in here, it'll keep it hot for 24 hours. And then if you put something cold in here, it keeps it cold for, I think, 16 hours is the time frame. Um, so I think this is really great um, to take to work or to take around with you. I really love it. I got the marble kind of design. They had a pop-up shop in meatpacking in New York, and I happened to kind of be in the area I was working, and I saw it, and I was like, oh, let me check it out, and then I bought one. So I really like it. Super cute. They have all different designs, um, so they're great. And they also make a really good gift for people, too. The other one is an actual water bottle, and I like to take this to the gym with me or keep it at work and fill it with water so that I get water throughout the day. But... I really love this saying. It says, after this, we're getting pizza. This is a very popular water bottle. I've seen it a lot on Instagram. This is my Bando. Excuse me, Bando. And it was with their collaboration with Macy's, I believe. Um, so it's a really nice bottle. It reminds me of a Nalgene bottle. So you just open it up and you squeeze here like with your teeth and you drink the water so it doesn't spill, which is great. And then it has a little, you can clip it on your bag or you just kind of carry it around. Um, so I really like it. Um, it's really huge. So you can put a lot of water in there, and it's just cute. It's pink and black and perfect. Alright guys, so those were all of my current favorites I've been loving. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please share down below what are your November favorites, what have you been loving. I hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving. We're going into Christmas in a few weeks, which is crazy. But I hope you guys are having happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.